blended spreads. Taste this! We're going to be using our splendid spreads. This time it's wonderful salmon salsa brava that we're going to be using. I love this one especially because it's got bits and pieces of corn and beans, etc. We got a nice filet mignon and a piece of salmon. Both are going to go on the grill. We're going to season them both with salt, pepper. Now for this particular sandwich I wanted to use filet mignon. Uh, just because it goes really well with our gorgonzola cheese or blue cheese, whichever you prefer. So what we're going to do is salmon, salt our salmon, and then both the fish and the beef are going to go on the grill. All right, you know, we want to talk about uh, something that we're going to be enhancing this salmon dish that we're going to be doing. What we're going to be doing is mixing some of the fresh salmon and this salmon together. This is from Splendid Spreads, a great salmon spread enhancer. Uh, you can use it just on, on appetizers, even with chips. I love it because it's totally versatile. I put it in rice, pasta. I've used all their blends. This particular one is salmon salsa brava. Really good technique, really good flavor. We're going to be using that in this dish. All right, what we're going to do first is just hit this with a little bit of olive oil. We're going to saute a couple of things up for our next sandwich, which is going to be like our fried burrito type of thing. Uh, what we got going on here is some peppers. We got some onions. We got some mangoes. Great for flavor, sweetness. I love sauteing mangoes. It's really good. They take the flavor to the next level. Put a little garlic. and a little bit of peppers, roasted peppers. All right, so what we're going to do is take our mushroom, and this is going to be incorporated in this, this casserole right here. We're going to take our mushroom, and we just want really thin slices of the mushroom. And just throw your mushroom in there like so. If you feel like you need a little bit more liquid, like oil or what have you, don't hesitate just to put a little bit more. There you go. Now that's what I'm talking about. We'll wipe the, the smell of this is really good. We'll wipe the board. Now we have a little bit of cheese here. Uh, we have our salmon spread that we talked about. What we're going to do is take our salmon off the grill. So what we're going to do is take our salmon. This is now completely done. And we got our salmon going on. We got a little bit of salmon spread we're going to put in here and mix them both together. Perfect. Mix this up. This looks great. And now we're going to combine our salmon spread in here. Now incorporate that 100% in there. Now what you're going to do is take a flour tortilla. Now you can always work out the flour tortilla once it's warm. It's, it doesn't, it's not as pliable when it's cold, so just stick your tortilla on the grill. If you don't have a grill, stick it right on the, the, the fire on your stove, just for a couple of seconds. You release all the fat in there and then it becomes nice and pliable. Because what we're going to do is fold this and fry it. Now I'm just going to make one just to kind of show you this, the situation here. So what I like to do first is put some cheese down in the center, because this aids in like sealing the envelope, so to speak. Take a little bit of the salmon spread, mangoes. That's about enough. You know, you don't want it. You don't want it to be too big at all. Uh, keep in mind, we're going down in here to fry. We're going to seal the burritos. We're going to actually put it seam side down first. Let's get the oil nice and hot, and then you roll this baby. And because you've actually put it on the grill, it becomes much more flexible. We'll just put a little cheese here, seal it down. This acts like glue. So right here, what we have is jack cheese and aged cheddar. We have five-year aged cheddar cheese. Now seam side down first would be here. We'll go right down. And let that kind of seal up, get crispy. See how this baby's going. All right, this is good. I had to flip this over before it burns. All right, so we look like we're about ready to go. You know, just kind of mold it around on all sides. You'll find it crisps up pretty quickly. Uh, the part that you got to kind of watch out is when you cut it. You know, sometimes it can, you, can, you can lose everything that you fought for uh, just cutting this baby. Actually, you could pick this thing up and eat it like that, but I'm going to take the extra mile here, hoping to look uh, good cutting this stuff. So 
uh, you know, when you're cutting this, this kind of stuff, just cut the top first so you don't squish everything. You know, a lot of people just kind of whack and then you all over the place. So just try to, you got the sharp knife here, go in as much as you can. That way the, the bottom piece that you cut should go right through. Okay, good. Now that's what I'm talking about. If you can see the inside of that, that's everything we just did. You know, mushrooms, salmon, peppers. It all looks pretty, pretty wild down in the pan, but when you put it together like this, it's, it tastes really good. And how I usually put them together like that, just leave one side up so that people can see what's in it, and you just take a little cracked black pepper, and there you go, finito. All right, well, hey, folks, thank you for watching this fun-filled episode of our sandwich show. We visited a talented chef, and we finished it here in the kitchen. Until next time, thank you for watching this fun-filled episode of Taste This TV. I'm your host, Chef Joseph Simonetti. Remember, there are no rules in cooking. Taste this.